I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out on the East Coast. We're out at Carlisle Events, and we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, with my good friend Lance Miller. Lance is one of the co-owners here of Carlisle Events, and he says, Lou, you got to come to the East Coast, so we're here. You have to, right? And here we are. And to start it off, we're going to do one of the Miller's cars themselves. I'm going to grab the camera. Lance, you have a little motto on life. What is that motto? Life is good. Life is good. So let's go out and see one of the cars in the Miller collection. And this <laughs> is good. Lance, what do we have here today? This is a 1964 289 AC Cobra. The 289 AC Cobra. This is all original. This is not a reproduction car. First of all, most of the reproductions are 427s, so you can take in this treat. And I know you have a little challenge for the viewers. What's your challenge? I'm going to feature you right off the bat between the 427 and... My challenge. Well, it's one of those things. Everybody asks you, what's the better car? You like the two, or 427 or do you like the 289? For me, I like the 289 just due to the fact, because you can get in. It's nimble. It's light. Uh, you can throw it around the corners. And it kind of looks very innocent, but yeah. it's not. The thin hips on the 289. Oh, I just love it. But no I was just curious, what, are your, what does everybody think yeah, out there? Yeah, so what do they think about that? Now, how long have, has your family had this car? This was purchased by my father in the mid-70s. I'm not sure the exact date. I have a, a binder full of information, so I could check that out. But, uh, you know, it's been in our family for quite a long time. A lot of great stories and uh, just a beautiful car. Give me one of those stories while your dad said, come on back with me. Let's yeah, get an no overall problem. look at the side. I was in the passenger seat of the car when I was a little kid. And uh, for some reason, this story just sticks with me and it always will. But uh, you're driving down the street in York, Pennsylvania, where we used to live. And my dad just, you know, blasting down the street, drag racing some friends. <laughs> and I happened to be on his buddy's lap. So I was little, very little at the time. And I'll never forget, he saw a police officer and he said, get down, get down. So I'm hunched over in the side of this thing on his friend's lap having a good time and it's just one of those precious memories that you're always going to remember and you know that's what cars are all about you know the memories behind they, them they are let's open this door shall we how does this door even open you just grab right here all right it's supposed to be the the leather latch you pull it but sometimes they all right. break but uh this is one thing that i recently replaced but uh everything else i mean you can see i was showing you earlier how cool this is the leather you know, this stuff's all original. It's a 13,000 mile car. 13,000 mile original Shelby AC Cobra. So we're going to take our time because you don't see those. That tech looks newer. Yeah, nope. the funny thing is, the gentleman that uh, came through and checked it out, he did say the tack is different in it, and uh, it's interesting because I, I know my dad didn't change it out, so the guy before him. Yeah, must have changed it out. So he honestly didn't touch the car. And look at the, just all of this car is all wonderfully original. Even the window configuration, just amazing. Okay, let's take a look at this from the front. Always enjoyed the stone covers over the headlights. I mean, just think of Carroll Shelby, you know, doing this back in the day. And truly, as we can walk around this car, I think you're going to see, you know, their hands were truly on every bit of this car and every Cobra out there, which is neat. This is just a banged out aluminum frame that uh, they turned into this wonderfully sculpted vehicle. And as you look at these rims, That's wonderful. And these are the original tires? We've never touched them. Never so. touched them at least since 1970. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, they need some air in them, I can see. <laughs> that one it. does, yeah, it's okay. All right, let's take a look at, uh, usually we wouldn't take a look at the trunk, but take a look at the trunk because there's certain markings on this car that are important. One of the things, tell me about the, first of all, look at like how the, this is just banged out aluminum. You can see the build quality, I mean, literally hammer marks, you know? I love like the fuel, how the neck's going right down in, it's just cool. I mean, yeah. truly hand-built automobile. And there's these little markings, like I'll show you one. 
like right there. You can see the dates on it, on the build. Show me underneath these plastic. First of all, you got the Kobe tr Co Cobra track and rodent track. Oh, yeah, you gotta have but authentic, there, there's you know, actual sure correct. tools. There was some rumor that these cars came with some tools. There's a little tool bag. If I can get that out. Let me, all right, let me we'll put this. Two hands. Sorry, guys, you're gonna yell at me for getting in the way. You can tell it's uh, certainly not a new bag. Apparently, it's missing some of the items in here, but again, Jeez. this is how it came. I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> Thor hammer. That is great. But there, apparently, um, a good friend of mine, Tom Cotter, who does barn finds for Haggerty, had uh, always loved this particular car, and he does different rallies with Cobras. And he said to me, hey, I've got the guy that absolutely loves Cobras and knows everything about them. And I, I said, oh, that's cool. He's like, can I bring them through? I said, absolutely, man. I'd love to learn from the gentleman. Sure. So, you know, we pulled a car out. He got underneath the car. He looked at it for probably about three to five minutes. And he just stopped. He goes, do you know what you have here? And I said, yeah, it's a 289 Cobra. He's like, no. He's like, this car is all original. He's like, I've never seen anything like this. So to me, I mean, it's the ultimate, you know, compliment on a vehicle. I'm yeah. thinking, this is the guy for Cobras telling me this. And he just went on and on and he showed me a, a bunch of different hash marks, you know, the tape, uh, Let's paint. show some of that. Yeah, let's go absolutely. under the hood. Well, let's, and the cool thing is that part that let, we just showed you. Yeah, there, let's, there was we'll debate. show that. There was a debate about not having that ever happen. You know, there was one guy that said, hey, I have this toolkit. It came with the car. And they said, no, no, that never happened. And then we just went in the trunk and that was there. There was a tool kit. Let's shut the trunk right sure. now. And we'll go right to under the hood. And this one's 2190. And we're going to show you how we know that in a second. Now they didn't have, sometimes you'll see on the 3000 series, some of the VIN numbers on the car. But check out where this VIN number is. It's on the latch. And you can see, I'll actually turn it around for you. I hope I did that right. You can see 190. Even if you can't see it there, you'll see it here is looking like 061. But I want to close that back so I don't make the mistake of dropping that on the car. And look. At what we have here. I mean, look at the tape in here, and all of the original pieces. You can see how it's kind of banged out. This section here is all welded in. Just amazing. So let me get on the other side to show people that side. You know how important. Cobra badge. The yellow tips. The 289. Badge there. Amazing. Okay. Another really cool story about this car yeah. was during one, it was actually right before one of our events, we have got a, a big team. It's about 30 people that, that help us out throughout the year. And the one gentleman in charge of our facilities department loves this car. I mean, it's his all time favorite car. So I had it out and I was just going around the fairgrounds for a joy ride, just getting it out, massaging it a bit. And I stopped and I said, hey man, get in. And he's like, I'm not getting in. Look at all, you know, look at my pants. I said, get in the car. He hops in the car. And uh, I'll never forget it because, you know, he just hops in and you could see him just grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> and I just hammer this thing. And this thing with tires about this thin just wiggles every direction. You're just banging and I bang into second gear. Things still just crank in every direction. Again, it looks innocent, but it's not. I mean, this thing will get up and go. And uh, it was so funny because he looks over at me and he goes, are you out of your effing mind? And I thought to myself, <laughs> not in the least. I said, will you remember this? And he goes, I'll remember this for the rest of my life. And I go, that's what it's that's about. That's the moment. Let's so. start her up. Speaking of moments. Sure. The moment has arrived. The 289 comes alive.
Oh, just around the block. Let's set, let's let's set the it. hood. There is one rule, don't bounce the camera off the camera guy's face. Alright. <laughs> Easy enough. It sounds it sounds nice and nasty. Yeah, it does sound good. Let's not run over this car. No. Let's keep the dents off the car. I always laugh, but you'll have to get a video later of where your feet go, literally my feet are like wedged in the pedals, if you can see that. You know what, we're gonna check that real quick. I mean, I can barely fit my foot in there because it's right underneath the uh, <laughs> brake pedal. This thing feels awesome. <laughs> yeah, it does. I can't believe how great it drives. I really can. I mean, it's just fun. If you think it's 64, you're thinking it might be a little clunky. It's not clunky at all. No, not at all. Yeah, it's actually very tight. I mean, it's just a great driving car. It feels like a new car. I mean, big st big steering wheel. We don't want to do anything too crazy with these wheels from the 70s. on the strip right there GTX rolling in I may go a different way here as usual. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's kind of what we do. Life's short. You gotta That's, enjoy it. You gotta enjoy it. Take your 289 Cobra out when you have the chance. We highly recommend it. That sounded great, didn't it? Yeah, it does sound good. It's funny because it's such an easy car to drive. Except for my feet. <laughs> Funny, I mentioned about air in the tires. This thing can certainly use air in the tires. I can feel it just squatting each time I. A, a little time when you lean on it, yeah. We'll, we'll go easy on it. Look at this. I mean, 289 Cobra right behind. <laughs> Trailer full of goodies. So this is gate two. By the way, a plug for Motor Crush. See that right there? I do. Oh, man. You gotta check out that app. Download the app for your, your car, and uh, you can pretty much, actually I'll put the Cobra on there today, and uh, I'll talk about the things that are done to it, throw up some pictures, and it's a way for people to interact. It's kinda like the Facebook a motor for car. car guys. It's awesome. So Motor Crush, download it on your cell phone. We made it. We made it. <laughs> what a cool no, car. No overheating, all good. I'll tell you what, I could drive this thing all day. I'll tell you what, you stay still. Yep. I'm gonna actually jump off for just a second. I wanna get the ending with you in the car. Hey, no problem.
I don't want to get out. <laughs> Lance, always a treat. Life's good. Uh, doesn't Thank get much better. Thanks for being on my car story. Thank you. I appreciate it.